Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. I'm pumped, look at this, look at this background. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, we're here on a top 10 bass lake, pretty much consistently makes a top 10 every year, Hugo Lake. This is just a fantastic lake, I've fished it all my life. It continues to pump out really good bass. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's been a good morning. I, I've been fishing out of this kayak now for only about five days, but just the simplicity of being able to load it up in the back of a small vehicle. It may look like a lot, but this is not a lot of stuff. I still have everything I need to be comfortable as I would be in my other boat, the Titan 10.5, but I literally woke up 30 minutes ago, got out of bed. Everything is almost on the kayak as is. I just have to you know, connect a few things, strap a few things down, but 30 minutes later after waking up, I'm ready to go. It's been really good fishing so far since I've been in New York. But uh, yeah, this was definitely one of the lakes that I wanted to hit when I was home. So I've got a few spots that I typically catch them at and get out on the water, try to figure them out. And uh, I'll share with you guys, as usual, what works, what doesn't. And uh, hopefully we have a good day. All right, water is kind of dirty. These fish should be pre-spawn right now, so. One of my absolute favorite baits for pre-spawn. If I had to pick one, black and blue Senko. Oh my God, are you serious? That worked out nicely. What do they say? Bad luck to catch one on the first cast? That's a pre-spawn fish right there too, even though it's tiny. And this is what we've been seeing here in New York. Good start, right? I've seen like 50 dead bluegills so far. Some of them are fresh. Rock, no grass, got a crank. I'll be very surprised if we don't pick up a fish in this little stretch right here. The old biffle bug. I'm absolutely crushing him on this lately. Just dragging it. Well guys, I'm just totally not feeling here. I think that first cast may have given us some false hope. We're gonna make a pretty good run to a creek that honestly, it'll be a gamble because if they're there, they're there. If they're not, they're not there. But if they're there, it could be an epic day. We have made it. I hope they are in here. I think that's enough. Is that a bass? What the heck was that? That's a bass back here. I'm just confused what just happened. Something just like darted out and hit the kayak. Cause I was looking at a dead bass back here. Like a four pounder. That's very strange. All right guys, it's time to abandon ship, at least for this creek. They are not back here, I don't believe. Right. So. <laughs> It was kind of a gamble. Well, it was definitely a gamble, but uh, I am not uh, not feeling it. We got the zombie bluegill right there. Fish is on its last leg. Fish. Oh my gosh. There we go. Got distracted by the zombie bluegill. 
That fish was on the fall. I think what we need to do, I mean, you gotta think about it. This is always the case in fishing, is figuring out the fish. Man, that bluegill looking at me. <laughs> but our first bite of the day, first cast of the day, was on the drop with a chatterbait. And then that bite was, I'm pretty sure, on the drop. I didn't feel it, but as soon as I picked up the rod, it was on there. So maybe they want like a vertical presentation. That's probably what we'll do. We'll just keep flipping for the next 30 minutes or so. See if that's what they want as far as presentation goes. Another one right there. Holy crap, I think that's a giant dying bass. Oh, it's a dying drum. By the way, drum sometimes will make you think you have a world record smallmouth. God, I feel bad. These fish are all just dying. Another one. It's crazy. Okay, time to load up. Alrighty guys, so I need to do a little bit of an explanation here. So right now it is the following day, it's about six o'clock at night, and yesterday's video, as you guys know, I show you guys every tri every trip, I film every trip, I show you the good, bad, the ugly, and yesterday was borderline bad ugly, but uh, I didn't want to make it a short video, so I was anticipating on going out today, this morning, which I did, uh, to a different part of the lake and adding that on as a second part of the video. The problem, and it's not even really a problem, is today, was an absolutely epic day that it deserves its own video so that is actually going to be the plan now we're going to make a separate video i know this video is a little bit shorter than my typical stuff but as a compromise and something i don't typically do you guys know the channel uploads every three days something i don't typically do special circumstance i'm actually going to upload today's footage the epic day catching fat fat fish tomorrow morning. So the next upload will actually be 24 hours from this upload, 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that will be the next upload. Yeah, it's a good one. So make sure you stay tuned for that video tomorrow morning. As always, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the support, appreciate the comments. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. That is the fattest fish I've ever seen. What?